Today I'm going to be doing an update on my hair. I initially did a review on uh, Grey's Hair Products about two months in and that was with the wig that I created. I had a lot of issues with that unit so I decided to just deconstruct it and um, recreate a new unit uh, with you without the frontal and instead I just did a U part so um, sewn onto my head instead and to be honest like I am so happy that I did this I wish I had done it sooner I feel like the tangling has dropped down to very minimal tangling the shedding is not as bad it's crazy but for some reason when I had it sewn on to the unit as a wig it seemed to have shed a lot more it's running through it pretty easily right now and the last time I washed it was about three days ago or four days ago I'm not really sure I don't really remember but um, it's been really good so far and like, it's almost seems like it's a whole new batch of hair but it's not I did boil it uh, the unit right before I installed it onto for the U part um, and if you guys aren't familiar like the boiling process with conditioner just tends to like bring it back to life a little bit more and maybe that's what happened when I did that but uh, it's much better now so right now I still have in the three bundles um, so you guys can see like it's really long like it goes all the way to my butt for sure it touches my butt you can't see it on camera but and it's really light like it's not a heavy weighing hair. I have no problems running my hands through it. So to be honest, I wish I had just done this sooner. I kind of do miss the frontal because like I just had the option to like wear my hair back more. I pretty much just wear it with the part now like this. I wish I didn't say all those bad things but in that review but honestly at first that's how I was feeling. I was feeling like the hair was just not good and like I paid $293 Canadian for the three bundles plus um, a 18 inch frontal so the bundles that I got were 24 26 and 26 they were really long and I mentioned in the first video like the bundles like they were definitely full um, from root to tip like I ended up cutting off maybe about this much of the hair so like imagine that this much you know additional like it was really long and it just you know kind of looked like hooker I just didn't want to look like stripper or hooker or anything like that so I definitely had to chop that off but guys if you're gonna get this hair like I said before in the first video it is a lot of work but you can definitely make it work and I think if you're getting it and you're gonna install it to your own like head or um, in tracks form or make a wig my suggestion is maybe just opt out of the frontal because it is gonna take a lot of work like sure it'll look good for the first little while but it's gonna take a lot of work just to maintain and it just seemed to like just cause me more problems and more stress than I wanted and like every day having to like secure that from like here to here with the got to be glue was a lot of work like I would find that the little front part would flip up a little bit and um, I was just not a fan of that so if you're really busy and you don't really have time to spend on your hair maybe not get a frontal and just leave your natural leave out today I'm having a really good hair day like it's really really nice and I just wanted to show you guys like I said in the first video like the hair doesn't curl so I'm gonna try to put like a curl in here so you guys can see this is the straight hair that I ordered like I don't know if you guys can see that but <clears throat> it's like a slight wave up I don't really like to curl this hair but I mean if you had to I'm sure you can manage but it would just be a lot of work. If if I am going to curl it, I might just do like one little curl like that. But that's that's how it looks when it's... But anyways, guys, I just wanted to come back. This is my final review on the unit. I will be uh, changing my hair soon. So um, I don't think I'm going to be doing any more updates on the hair. But 
overall like it's not bad it's not it's not the worst hair I've ever received I'm having a much better time with it uh, this time around uh, with the second installation as uh, compared to the first one so just do your research like I said um, it is a lot of work but it's still good hair and it's affordable I did get it on a sale um, and it was a 11 11 sale I forgot to mention that in the first video but the hair was on sale I think 40 or 50 percent off I don't know like really if that was like the price that it always is but they they said it was like 40 or 40 or 50 percent off that day so um, in November so I purchased it then and that's how much I paid for it at the time I don't know if the price is still the same now or if it's gonna be more but for the price that I paid I think it was worth it but would I order it again? Um, maybe if I didn't have like any other option or any other choice, maybe I would, but I wouldn't, like I don't love it, you know? So that's just my honest opinion. I hope that was informative and uh, helped you guys. And uh, subscribe, comment, and if you have any questions about the hair, comment. I will always get back to you guys as soon as I can. Coming back home is the saddest of my sofa car